you've watched my videos last year, I got this hive, first time ever, and I put it up, and immediately I had all kinds of bees investigating it, but nobody ever actually moved into it. So, more research, more studying, more learning. Um, the hive that I bought was a used hive, and it had a lot of honey in it. And I really thought that that would entice bees to move in. Apparently that didn't work. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to clean this hive completely. And I'm probably going to wind up buying a, um, a bunch of bees. There's some folks around here in Northeast PA that sell local honey bees that are acclimated to our weather. So... I wanted to clean this hive really well as per some of the recommendations that I read and I'm kind of rednecking this so what I've got is this tabletop grill heating up a, <laughs> a trash can of, uh, of water and if I didn't have the grill I would have made something out of wood stone and you know used a wood fire which probably would have been faster as far as getting the water up to the proper temperature and the hotter the better right up to boiling is very desirable to clean these so I've scraped off all of the remaining um, wax that the prior residents of this hive had constructed so now I have I don't know probably 30 frames to clean and the hot water is going to help disinfect and melt the leftovers from the prior residence and then I'll put the hive back together and when I buy my nuck I will um, it's three to five pounds of bees around here local acclimated to our weather probably about hundred fifty dollars but I plan on growing quite a garden this year so I want the best chance that I can get for pollination and so forth and I certainly don't mind helping the environment um, by providing a home for bees so what I did is each frame like I said had honeycomb left in it from the prior residents and I guess the bees aren't really fond about that so I put this together and what I'm going to do is dunk these, swish them around a little bit, try and melt off everything that's still attached to the frames and I have a wire brush that I'm going to lightly use to clean the frames. And I know this water should be, I don't know, it's pretty close to boiling actually. I took the baffles off of the grill so that <laughs> the trash can has direct access to the heat and um, the water can get as hot as possible. I probably would have been better off making this over a wood fire with my, um, with my grates over the stone frame that I use for the wood fire, but this is going to work, hopefully well enough and we're just going to let them soak for a few minutes not a few minutes actually short amount of time because I've got quite a few to do and then we're going to brush them down with this wire brush very lightly is to not destroy anything I guess you definitely want it hot enough to w melt whatever wax may be left on the frames. And I'm just about there as this is coming off fairly easy. And like I said, I've got a zillion frames to do this with. And then I'm going to rinse them off with clean cold water after the fact. And I don't want to leave them in the water too, too long. 
I don't want to distort the shape or melt the plastic. But they had a funny odor to them before I did this. And I want to give my newbies to come the best chance of success that I can give them. So basically this is what I'm going to do with, with each frame. And it's not perfect, but it's uh, so much better than it was. And then I'm going to rinse them off with cold water, reassemble the whole thing. And probably next weekend, today Saturday, so probably next weekend, I'm going to have my newbies here. And it's a learning experience. I'll do the best that I can. And if it doesn't work out again this year, well, then next year I'll try something different. So here's the hive cleaned up, all frames boiled, so to speak, brushed, rinsed, and reinstalled. Everything is put back together. So we'll see how it goes when the bees that I'm about to order come in.